Well, it's another week with a choppy start for Wisconsin. Another week with a very good third quarter as the Badgers finally pulled away from Georgia Southern en route to a 35 to 14 win against the Eagles. We'll hear from some of the Badgers players. It's also a Hall of Fame weekend at the University of Wisconsin. Three Badger football players inducted, J.J. Watt and Monte Ball along with Bob Teague, the first black student athlete at Wisconsin to start for the football team, led the team in rushing that year, was all Big Ten back in 1949, and went on to a very distinguished career in journalism, both print and broadcast, also a very successful author as well, as he is finally inducted into the Hall of Fame. We'll get Coach Fickle's thoughts on the two Badger players that his teams went up against, Mr. Watt and Mr. Ball. All that and more coming up on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. DK wide left, Rice and Green to the right on second down. Mordecai hands it to Allen again, off the right edge, room to the 50, 45, 40. Allen juke move, 35, still up inside the 30, 25. Allen with attitude inside the 20 yard line. Now pulling in motion to the left. Allen remains the running back. Pauling comes back the other way. Mordecai takes the snap, hands off to Allen, off the right side, and he is in. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Braylon Allen from four yards away. As the Badgers on the brink of tying this game early in the third quarter. Third and five, Eagles are on 40-yard line. Arnold, the running back, motions out of the backfield, lines up wide to the right, snap to Brin, looking pressured, has tipped in the air, and it's picked off by C.J. Getz. It was deflected, and Getz was there for the fourth interception of the day for the Wisconsin defense. From the 18 of Georgia Southern, Mordecai back to throw, looking, pulls it down, he'll run it, Tanner to the 15 to the 10, cutting left to the five, Mordecai to the end zone, touchdown, Wisconsin, Tanner Mordecai pulls it down and takes it in as the Badgers take the lead midway through the third quarter. Bo Johnson out to the left, he motions to the formation. Brent fumbles the snap. The Badgers say they pounce at the 15-yard line, and they do, and it's Mama Jungmetta. Two tied in alignment, first and goal inside the one. Mordecai shotgun snap, hands to Belusi, into the line. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Oh, did he earn that. Ches Belusi from a yard away as the Badgers finally breaking it open here at Camp Randall Stadium. Let's go, man. Hey, you know my three. One, two, three. You know. The end of round, Chimere DK to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Pass pops out of the air. It's picked off by Mama Jumetta. He's gone. Braylon Allen all the way. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And it's picked off by Hunter Waller. There is a big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. 
and operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. My expectation is score every, every drive. Um, and, and when it, it takes that long to get going, it is frustrating. But, uh, you know, playing the quarterback position is kind of the job description that Everyone's looking at you, uh, see how you react. So I, I do my best to, you know, be positive with the guys, let them know that, you know, we got the next drive. Um, just reassure them that we're, we're fine. Don't worry, don't, don't freak out. We got a lot of ball left. Yes, we got turnovers, but I still think maybe the better of what we did was we tackled better, we leveraged things. And when, when, you, when you get some turnovers, I think you, by nature, just see yourself being a little bit more aggressive. Some of them were, you know, pressure throws to us and then some of them were really really good plays you know the hunter roller one down in the end zone is a phenomenal play man call mary football man we do our job offense do their job then we all happy we all celebrate on the sideline i feel like that uh you know when it come like that it's just all about execution man you know we give the deep offense a chance to score you know what i'm saying they score and then guess what we get turnover get the ball back to the offense they score again you know you just keep doing it over and over and over again we're still growing as a team with whether it's a bunch of transfer not making excuses but a bunch of transfers of new guys in, we're still gelling as a team and that takes time. And we're in game three and I think it's coming together. We just got a lot of work to do still. We're the type of team that's gonna find a way and, and we're definitely a third, fourth quarter team. You know, uh, we'd love to start faster, but we're the type of team we're gonna wear guys out and you won't be able to hang with us in the third and fourth quarter. So um, I think we're developing our identity and uh, that's what I'm excited about the most going into Big Ten play, kind of knowing what kind of team we are confident around what we're, what we're doing well, ready and, and able to improve on what we can do better. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA Member Benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams, then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health, remarkable. Good time to have a Hall of Fame discussion. This being Hall of Fame weekend, the latest class of Wisconsin Badgers entering the UW Athletics Hall of Fame. We'll get to a couple of those guys in a moment, but also Hall of Fame enshrinement in Canton. A little more than a month ago, our very own Joe Thomas, first ballot Hall of Famer, his entire career with the Cleveland Browns. And while the Browns organization didn't win a whole lot, Joe Thomas did everything he could and definitely earned this recognition. And with that, we bring in head coach Luke Fickle, first year here, but the names, J.J. Watt, Monte Ball specifically, Coach Fickle, very familiar with. And on a personal level, you and Joe Thomas have had a chance to, to kind of get to know each other here this past year, or almost past year or so yeah, now. Yeah, well, it's a congratulations to all those guys. Yeah. What, uh, it's pretty nice to be on the side with them because <laughs> I remember actually preparing for them too, too many times. Um, great players, uh, obviously great people as well. Uh, very well represented of the program. <clears throat> and, and looking forward to at some point in time, I've, I've met some of the guys, but not – you know, spent much time with them, but uh, look forward to that in the, in the future. And Joe is one guy that obviously I've been able to spend a little bit of time, not in his lift group that he has. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit old. I'm still a little bit older than he is for, for that crew. Um, but obviously family-wise, living close and missed the little birthday party this weekend. I was kind of busy. Mm -hmm. um, but it, great people. I think that's, to me, the thing that I've learned as much as anything, just the amazing type of people and how they feel about this place, this program, and this community. I always think you guys as players are wired differently than 
than those of us who didn't play at the college level or above. And I, I mentioned with Joe, they didn't win it, it, in Cleveland. It was a very, very rough go. And his consecutive snap streak of better than 10,000. Now, he'll tell you there's some luck involved, you know, and all that. But, you know, in, in today's world especially, you're almost it's almost okay, like, okay, man, we're out of the playoff race. I'm going to maybe – take this fourth quarter off or take a week off and that's just not how he's wired i don't know how it happened uh, I, that is amazing i mean of, of all feats i mean ten thousand three hundred and thirty some. i don't want to mess it up i, I think it's ten three sixty three i think to make sure somebody will i, I want to go over ten thousand <laughs> four hundred right. of some sorts um that's i don't think that's going to be possible ever again and and I often wonder, I say that about the NFL, I think they ought to in, increase the roster so that a guy like Joe Thomas maybe has two more years on his career based on, <laughs> you know, happen to play some different situations of games. Um, but utterly amazing. And you have to not only be wired, yes, some luck, but you've got to be wired completely different to, to not want to come out of the football game in a lot of those situations. Well, we mentioned Joe, and certainly congratulations to, to Joe, the entire family. It was just those who went out there, including our own Mark Tauscher and many others, they had a great time out in Cleveland. I guess they, they did it upright. Someone who will be going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame maybe as soon as he's eligible, but if not, not long after, is J.J. Watt, who's going to be part of this year's Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame class. You, you're on the other side. You remember watching him and certainly admire what he did in the NFL as well. But uh, when I say the name J.J. Watt, what comes to mind? Player, I mean, um, but in all different ways. Like, it didn't matter the system, right? I seen him when he was here at times have his hand on the ground and being incredibly disruptive. Then you play against a quarterback that's, you know, maybe runs a little better than you see him playing from a two-point. Mm -hmm. And then he goes to the next level, and it's just wherever he is, he's done nothing but continue to produce and um, enjoyed watching. I think my buddy, I think very coached him maybe a little bit in Houston, and you know, just hearing some of the stories about, hey, we're just going to work around him because he is so dynamic in his ability to have a knack to find the football but play aggressive um, is really unique. Like I said, I, I remember watching from afar a lot. Um, not having to worry about him because I was on the other side of the ball, uh, but always, always admired what he had done. Well, one guy you did have to worry about on the other side of the ball, also part of this class, the great running back, Monte Ball, who at the time when he left Wisconsin, he had the all-time touchdowns record in, in NCAA history. What do you remember the most about him? <laughs> he was very difficult, obviously, with the scheme and the things that they did. Um, but he wasn't one of those guys. He could take it the distance. That was the unique thing about him is physical at the point of attack, could break tackles. But... The big thing, I mean, some of those guys can't quite go the distance, and that was what was so nerve-wracking about preparing for him because if you made any mistake, whether it was leveraging or missed, like, that thing could go 80, 85 yards, and that's not like that with a lot of guys. I want to go back to the linemen with Joe and with J.J. and you, yourself as a, as a defensive lineman. Tell us about the recruiting process, or, or maybe better put, the evaluation process of that. I, I, th I would imagine it gets a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I would put my name in the same <laughs> sentence with those two guys as football players by any means, but I, I do think it is. I think it's unique. I think um, some are really easy to tell, right? I mean, you know, that's what they call five stars. But I think there's a lot of guys that are developmental. And, and so you're trying to figure out what they've really got inside that chest and inside that head that you maybe haven't seen or doesn't come out just yet. Um, so I think that there's that's where the uniqueness of, of that position in particular you, you got to find because it is a grueling, grueling, tough position. And it's not always just about the talent level. It's the ability for those guys to play beyond that. They always say, or maybe not always, but I've talked to a lot of guys through the years saying, well, I didn't grow up dreaming to be a left guard or a tackle or a nose guard. In your case, when did like, this is where I belong. This is the position I need to play. Well, I call it a de-evolution. I thought I was outside <laughs> on an edge. I thought I was catching passes as a tight end. And then as your abilities, you start to realize, you start to move a little bit closer towards that ball <laughs> to have a better chance to play. And I think everybody's a little bit different. You're right. Most of those guys don't grow up wanting to you know, be a three technique or take on double teams. Um, but I think that's the uniqueness. Those guys that embrace that, that have something di different inside. And they come from all different areas. I know Joe was a basketball player. Mm -hmm. I, I particularly like to look for those guys that maybe have wrestled a mm -hmm. bit in their life because I just think there's some uniqueness that goes hand in hand with that. 
you know, not just from a leverage and core strength, but even a mentality wise. All right. Appreciate your time. Congratulations to all of those Hall of Fame inductees, all those in the rest of the class in the 2023 UW Athletics Hall of Fame. Stay with us. More to come on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. WEA member benefits, dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Well, in a hurry, I think this season, fans outside of Wisconsin are understanding it's a pretty good running back tandem at the University of Wisconsin. Braylon Allen, obviously, Ches Malusi as well, and we're joined now by Agent Zero, Bra Braylon Allen. Um, Coach Fickle talks a lot about competitive spirit. And I thought in game one, we really saw that on display. Chez breaks a long run. Next possession, you're going to work. You guys are, are buddies. You want the best for each other. But if I get, I'm under the impression if you run for eight, Chez is going to want to run for nine. You're going to want to come back and run for 10. Is that how it works? Yeah, I, I think so. Like you, like you mentioned, um, great friends off the field as well so obviously want the best for each other want to see each other succeed and more so um even because you know you, we know that that pushes us um like you said you know Chez had a, a long run um we went out the next drive <laughs> we're at the two yard line so obviously i'm thinking <laughs> okay um let me try to set a record here um obviously that didn't happen but just the entire drive itself you know being able to march the ball all the way down the field um and score a touchdown um obviously you know didn't didn't beat out Chez for the longest run of the game. Um, but like I said, it, it just pushes us. Um, and, you know, it's it's healthy, healthy competition. Um, you know, he had more yards than me, um, whatever. You know, we won the game. That's that's all that matters. Um, and, you know, we just want to keep keep uh, pushing each other to be the best. Obviously, you know, some people, like you said, are, are seeing it early, um, something that we've known for a long time. But, um, you know, we just want to continue to, to push that and, you know, solidify ourselves as the best tandem in the country. You mentioned Chez in that first game had the longest run of the game, but as we speak, you still have the longest touchdown run in Wisconsin history at 96 yards, which I'm sure was a lot of fun. But the, when you have runs like, I'll just pull one out of the air in the Buffalo game where it seemed like, the entire defense swung and missed like they were you were just running over everybody the long runs in the open field are wonderful but is there a part of you that that even shows a little bit more when you're breaking five six seven tackles it seems and breaking off a 25 30 yard run yeah there's um there's definitely a feeling you know during that play where you kind of feel untouchable um, a little bit invincible almost um, but obviously like you said the long runs are great too but you know I think once you once you kind of set that tone um, and you run with a purpose where people don't want to tackle you anymore I think that's a little bit more satisfying um, I mean you know it took me a little bit to get going I felt um, the first half pretty much I think I was held to 30 something um, and you know but you knew going into the locker room, you know, when I came back out, that it was going to be a different game because, you know, I'd already set the tone with these guys and, um, you know, showed them how, how, how the game was going to go. Um, and, you know, the second half obviously turned it up a little bit and they weren't as interested in, in making those tackles. <laughs> um, and then you kind of saw it even on, on my last carry um, that ended up being a touchdown. You know, you kind of, you know, you kind of felt their, their spirit taken away from them. One of the things that, that Coach Longo mentioned the first time he ever met with the media was yes, there's an air raid label, but this program will still run the ball. I'm, I'm thinking a lot of people were surprised in the first game at how much the Badgers ran the ball, but you kind of knew that, that that the running game is still going to be featured here quite a bit, right? Oh yeah, I um, first of all I knew you know that was something that I would have had to have 
address with Coach Longo when he first got here, you know, making sure that we're going to be incorporated into this offense. Um, and at the end of the day, um, we know that the offense is going to go through us, you know, regardless of the title of it or, you know, what we're trying to do. Um, I think when we're, run, when we're running the football well, um, the team goes with that. Um, so, you know, obviously it was working. Um, and, you know, he, he's always said he's going he's gonna to go to green um, and whatever's working he's going to stick with. Um, so, you know, hopefully, you know, we can kind of continue um, that streak. Shifting off the field here, we, in this world of name, image, and likeness, it's, it's great to see athletes like you and many others be able to, to take advantage of those opportunities. But one of the things that strikes me about you and a lot of your teammates, a lot of the athletes here, is that you use the platform to give back. There's the Badgers Give Back initiative here, but your, your charity softball game, of which you've had now each of the last two years, yeah. right? Tell us about that. Uh, what got you started with wanting to do this? And it seemed like everybody, all of your teammates and everybody up in Fond du Lac this year had a lot of fun watching you guys out there. Yeah, it's, um, well, I, I played baseball growing up, um, so I'm not, you know, really very new, new to the sport. But, um, you know, I, I'm with Team Lammy. They do a great job kind of getting everything. Um, a couple guys are on the on the team are with them as well, Chim and uh, Tanner too. So they do a great job in getting all that stuff set up. I mean, it wasn't really even my idea to have that, um, but you know they kind of brought the idea to me, and you know I couldn't think of a, a better you know way to give back to uh, my community. So um, you know that went on, and this year we started the Raylan Allen Fund, um, and all the proceeds went to different charities and organizations. Um, organizations that I was part of growing up, Boys and Girls Club, um, the Youth Football League in Fond du Lac, things like that. So it was a lot of fun. You know, obviously a lot of the team was out there to support. Um, we had a great time. Yeah, it really did. Uh, did. Anybody surprise you with their softball ability? I would say lack thereof. I don't want to go there. Anybody better than you thought might be on the diamond? Uh, <laughs> man, I, Mike Jarvis, um, yeah. he hits bombs. I mean, yep. if, I, if I do it again, I'm going to have to get rid of that little <laughs> midget fence I got out there. Um, but because I think we could all hit it over, you know, the big one. Um, but, you know, when he hits it, it's not even fair. You know, it could be a pop fly, <laughs> and it's going over. So Mike Jarvis definitely um, caught me by surprise. Yeah. It, to be able to, to help those, especially back in Fond du Lac, though, I mean, you get to do a lot of great things here. And, you know, we all cheer for you when things go well on Saturday. But to be able to, to you know, turn back around and do something for your hometown, that, that's about as good as it gets, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely when the Bruce Feldman freaks list came out, then shockingly, you're part of it. Of course you are. You know, the body fats, is it 8% or something ridiculous? So what have you, what have you eliminated? Like maybe the, maybe the rest of us ought to think about eliminating you too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the main pillars of it, uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, okay. and mostly sugar-free, no, no artificial sugars, um, no fried foods. So kind of the, the, um, the focus behind it is anti-inflammation okay. um, and I can say that it's been great for me and it's helped a lot like you said body fats went down weights went up um, gotten stronger faster um, and I just feel a lot better so um, mm -hmm. it's, it's been good I'm gonna keep it going for a while works for him not happening here I'm just an announcer fried foods it is but yeah you, you look great you feel great right after the game probably feel better than you've ever felt most right? definitely all right Braylon Allen one of the best around stay with us more to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report I had big dreams then I got sick UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney now my dreams are infinite UW Health remarkable these are operating engineers they operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters and operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you.
and is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. And now the Big Ten games begin as the Badgers make the trip down to Ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette for a Friday night matchup against the Purdue Boilermakers. Kickoff is set for 6 o'clock Central Time. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health. Remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.